All right. Uh, good night, good night, good night. I am getting ready to go to bed. So before I go to bed, I am going to start up a little bit of some of my development here on... Oops, so you can hear my dove in the background. Uh, so what I'm showing tonight is my progress on my one game a month project, which I have now titled Dungeon Discs. So let's switch to that. And you can see I got the little Eagle Ant logo loading up there. It might take a minute because there's uh, I've added in some audio. All right. Here we go. Here's the title screen. Uh, hopefully you can hear me over top of it. Uh, you can see uh, I've... That's really loud. I'm going to move on to the next screen. One sec. But as you can see, I've got the dungeon written out in the uh, blocks there. I've added in discs, and uh, it just randomly spews out the discs for something to look at. And let's go in. Uh-oh. I didn't mean for the audio to continue through here. That's not very good. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm going to shut this down for a sec. We'll re redeploy. Okay, let's just do it from the test here. And where is my level selector? There's one part of it. There's the other. Okay. Hopefully this works. Wow, my dove is really going crazy in the background. Not sure if you can hear him, but uh, there we go. So this is the level select. As you can see, I've got four levels built already. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, interesting stuff built into them, hopefully. Uh, and basically the game, the premise of the game is that it's uh, a cross between Breakout, Air Hockey, and uh, a little bit of pinball thrown in for good measure. Uh, there's still a couple of elements that are missing. Uh, right now you can see on the left hand of each board here is the red base and the red hit points and on the right hand is the blue base and the blue hit points. The reason the hit points face out is because it's designed to be played on a rather large touch screen. So one person would be standing on the right edge facing in and the other person would be standing on the left edge facing in so the numbers would be right side up for them as well as those lightning bolts there. So let's pick a level here, something, uh, let's go for the Vortex level, which uh, I've, I've just named uh, Bombs, I think, at the moment. And this is the basic level. The Vortex still needs some work. It's kind of just an ugly, swirling black and purple thing right now. But this one's got everything on it that, uh, well, everything on it that I've built out so far. You can see we've got the big blocks here, which are destructible. We've got uh, the little, and the big um, uh, stone blocks which have the red in the middle so that means that they're bumpers and uh, we've got some bombs basically the way that you get your discs and this is going to be changing slightly soon but the way that you get your discs is by essentially just ranking on that tap button now that sound again is a temporary sound effect it's really quite bad and you'll see that we've got four discs on right now we'll put a couple in for my opponent <laughs> and that is how this game can go every now and then uh, so you can see I'm already down to five hit points. My opponent's still at 10. Uh, what I wanted to show you before everything blew up is that in order to get a disc going, you have to click on it to spin it up. And you'll see once it's going the right speed to flick, it's it'll be sparkling. Then you just flick it like this. Though you're usually trying to get it into your opponent's area, and I'm not doing a very good job of that. <laughs> there we go oh 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 and into the vortex he goes all right let's get a couple more
yay i finally scored a hit but that's basically it that's the premise of the whole game i mean there's a lot of extra stuff i've still got some time left in the month uh, so that I can crank this out, but I'm going to be adding some power-ups, I'm going to be adding some, just all sorts of random fun, and there'll be levels of all types that have uh, vortexes and good mixes of everything, uh, and this one is, I, this is probably not one of the greatest ones, but it did show you everything, it showed the destructible terrain, and uh, it shows you the bumpers, this one has the, probably the most bumpers out of everything. Now it is possible to save your disc from the vortex. If you uh, spin it up, you can flick it out. Now the neat thing is, is that it's going to be, I think, a little bit like that uh, game button because you'll be able to, uh, when the disc is thrown to your opponent's side, There's nothing to prevent him from spinning it up and flicking it right back at you. Now, it can't harm you, but he could always flick it into the vortex just to get rid of it. The other thing is, is that when two discs collide... Again, I apologize for the sound effects. Um, but when two discs collide, the one that is spinning the fastest wins. So it's in your best interest to keep a couple near your base spun up. There you go. So you can see there, and there we go. There you have it. So I'll just uh, give you a quick demonstration of some of the other levels. We'll uh, spin it up here on the level selector. Hopefully, possibly, ah, uh, last pass. There we go. All right, so uh, you can see here we've got one that's just a long skinny tunnel with a couple of vortexes and a couple of bumpers. Really easy to hit your opponent right off the bat on that one. So that one's gonna be kind of a quick draw one. Uh, lots of collisions in the middle that'll uh, result in vortexes sucking up your players uh, this one is actually way harder than it looks the one in the bottom right that one the diamonds reflect your uh, your throws all over the place it's kind of ridiculous but again these are temporary levels for now uh, once we get a nice big touch screen at the uh, at the office we'll probably start testing it there I'll also be testing it on uh, a couple of different devices as well because I think that on a large size iPad or um, or on a large uh, large format like a 10 inch Android tablet this would still be pretty fun uh, and then the basic level is uh, one where you're given a little bit of time to build up because you've got a huge wall of breakable objects there to get through before you can do anything All right, so I'm not going to break through that whole thing, but that gives you a basic idea of how it can go. And again, your opponent would be trying to chip through from the other side. Probably a lot easier to get in from that side. Yeah, and that's it. That's basic 
that's basically what Dungeon Discs is. Again, there's going to be a lot of extra stuff coming. The uh, power up on the left and the right here, the charge buttons are actually going to charge up a couple of different types of discs, and you'll be able to select them based on uh, how much power you've built up. So these basic discs will cost you just a little bit of power, while as some of the better discs will cost you a little bit more. Hopefully I can get that all in there by the end of the month, but if not, honestly, this is getting pretty close to what I would consider being ready for a first version release. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at Dungeon Discs, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, start letting people play it and uh, to definitely film some people playing it around a big touch screen.